the things you do And it was all yellow I came along I wrote a song for you And all the things you do And it was called yellow Hi guys, this is how to play the rhythm parts to Yellow by Coldplay. Um, we're generally using three super easy chords. We've got a G major, ideally with your third and little finger down. Um, kind of the, it's also nicknamed a big G. And that will make it easier to change to your D major chord, which is next. And then we have a C major chord, finally. If you need more help on those chords, please check out uh, early in my beginner's course. There is 10 songs with just these three chords and a whole video dedicated to being able to play these three chords. If you have any problems with this video, please check out one of, one of those videos, um, which will really help you with that change, and especially the one that shows you these chords in depth um, and maybe one recommended song from that stage before you try this one. Uh, we do also have an E minor in the chorus, played with your first two fingers, like this, just the standard E minor, and they're all the chords in the song. If you would like to check out in the description below, right at the top of the description, there's a link to my website where you can view the chord sheet and print off the chord sheet, all totally for free. This video is also on that website, so if you'd like to click that now, this will be much easier with the chord sheet in front of you and I'll be referencing that throughout this video. Okay, so for your intro and for most of the verse also, we have um, the chord sequence G major for two bars. Should mention as well, we've also got a capo on the fourth fret for this song, which is the way that Coldplay, um, Chris Martin plays it on the acoustic guitar. This is the, the rhythm parts that, that we're doing here. Um, so we have your G major chord for two bars and the strumming pattern that I was using earlier is eighth strumming all downs. So one bar of G was one and two and three and four and. Therefore if we play two bars of G together with this strumming pattern, I'll count you in from your G chord. Two, three, four. One and two and three and again. One and two and three and stop. Then we change to our D major chord. Again for two bars with the same strumming pattern. Two, three, four. One and two and three and again. And one and two and three and four and. And then we change to your C major chord. A full proper C. Um, for this one preferably because we do have two bars for each chord which is quite a long time I'd like you to really try and get this full C learnt at this stage of my beginners course so full C also for two bars two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and finally your G chord change back to your big G for two bars again two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and stop. As I say, that's very similar to what we're going to do in the verse, so let's try and get this part nailed first and then we can put it into a verse context. If you can't change chord quite yet with that strumming pattern, you can always play on the beat, which would sound like one, two, three, four, one, two, then change chord to D. Or if these chords are all totally new to you, you can change um, once per bar. So just one strum on the chord sheet, strum every time that you see that chord, just the once, and then you've got plenty of time to change between G and D. You'll have a whole bar. But let's go for this whole intro all the way through those, those first eight bars at the top of your chord sheet. I'm gonna play just on the beat, so whatever strumming pattern you're going to do to this, you'll know where this beat actually falls, but I really recommend have a go at that eighth strumming with all downs, okay? In two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, then a D, D. Two, three, four. One, two, then a C, C. Two, G, G, two, three, four, one, two, and stop.
stop there. So this is for uh, the part which is where the band kind of joins in. There's acoustic guitar that starts the song, Chris Martin on his own. That's just a G chord, but I really recommend with all these songs that I'm teaching in this beginner's course, that I would like you to play along to the record with, with this. Um, if you can sing along as well and recreate that on your own, then that's great. But I want you to check that you're doing this right by playing along to the record. It's the one thing that makes the difference between sort of songs kind of sounding okay, but not quite sounding right, and then them sounding exactly right to the record, if you can play along to it, basically. So we're going to use that G chord initially that Chris Martin plays on acoustic as your counting. Kind of sounds like... This part at the intro, that's your counting, two, three, four, and then we start on your G chord. Okay, and that's the part that I've, I've just taught there. For your verse, the next section is the verse, it's the same chord sequence as that but we don't have the two Gs at the end. That In the intro, the G chord kind of bookends your chord sequence, and um, it's just G, D, and C for two bars each, and those are done in a loop for three times, okay? So for your verse, if you play along to me, just do two bars of G, two bars of D, and two bars of C in a loop three times. Follow your chord sheet if you need more help, um, if you want to kind of view them as, you, as you're doing this, that would be really helpful. But use the strumming pattern that you used earlier on when you played along to me in this video. Whichever one you're comfortable with is totally fine. We're just getting the chords and the order and the, the beats learnt at, at this time being. And then we'll make sure we've got those that eighth strumming, the proper strumming for the pattern uh, a little later in this video. So just the verse on its own from a G chord in one, two... Three, four, G, two, three, four. Look how they shine for D, two, three, four, one, two, three, and C, C, two, three, four, one. And it was all yellow back to G, G, I came along. G, two, three, to, C, to D. Now to C, C, two, three, four, one. And it was called yellow back to G, G, one last time. Two, three, four, D, two, three, four, one. Oh, what a thing to have. C, two, three, four, one. End on G, G. Okay, then we have a further, just two last bars of G on their own. And then we're going uh, for the chorus, which is slightly different, is slightly new, um, but uh, the, the rest of the song is far, far easier. So I want to make sure we've got the, the rest of the song first before we go for this chorus, because the, um, the, the C chord and the E minor change, it, it can be quite tricky. So let's make sure we've got up to where we are now, which is the vast bulk of the song, to be honest with you. From your intro, so I'm going to play what Chris Martin will, will play for your intro. You're going to start from your big G when I count you in. Okay, so ready? Not yet. This is the intro like in the song. Starts in one, two, three, big G. G and two and three and four and one and two and three and D. D and two and three. G again, we're on a verse. Verse, look at the stars. Still G, look how they now to D for you. Oh, what a thing to... Now we're on a C chord. Back to G, they were all yellow. Back to G, I came along. G, I wrote a song for D. called yellow G one last time through that same chord sequence one two three and D and two and three and four and one and two and three and C two three four one C 
two, three. Okay, end on G. There, pause there. Here we would have two final bars of G, and then we're on to your chorus, which is a far trickier chord sequence, but one which hopefully we can do if we can change um, between C and D. This is likely a chord sequence that we can cover. So we have C for a whole bar, then E minor for two beats, and D major for two beats. So just one new E minor. So, for example, to a slow count, C, two, three, four, E minor, straight to D, which goes over the lyrics, your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones turned in to something beautiful. Okay, we need that three times, and then there's just one final bar of C, and then we stop. And that's your, um, your chord sequence for your chorus. I'm going to begin by playing this on the beat. If this is really difficult for you, you may just want to play one strum per bar or uh, once per chord so that you just get your chord changes learned. But I'm going to play on the beat so we know where the beat falls. Whole bar of C, two beats E minor, two beats of D. From the C, in. Two, three, four. C, two, three. E minor straight to D C two three E minor straight to D C two three last time E minor straight to D and then we have a C for one final bar C two three and then just one strum of a C you know I love you so and you write up back to the top of the page G G G straight back to your intro. So one more time through this chorus, a little slower, but this is so that hopefully you might be able to get your eight strums in here. One and two and three and four. If not, I'm just gonna go a little slower so that you can play on the beat or play once per chord and make sure we've got this, um, um, these chord changes memorized. So from the C chorus one more time, two, three, four, your skin. Minor, yeah, your D and bone C turned in E minor straight to beautiful. You know E minor to a D. C on its own, C two, three, one strum. You know I love you so. We're back to an intro in two, three, four. Intro. One, two, two, a D, D, two, three, four, one, two, three, and C, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you would be paused there, and we would be into a verse after that, so your chord um, structure, your, your structure to this song, sorry would be intro, verse, chorus, intro, verse, chorus again, and then just intro and verse. The last section of the song, it's true. Look how they shine for you. It's just the same chord sequence as that verse. So just keep cycling through your chord sheet, intro, verse, chorus, intro, verse, chorus, intro, verse, and you're done, okay? In the second verse, as it says on the top of the, the chord sheet, the top of the verse, um, the second verse only lasts two lines, rather than repeating that same line three times. So um, if we go from there, just to kind of get a heads up as to, to how that sounds, um, second verse, straight into chorus this time, okay? So two rounds of that, that line in, in the verse, that, that top line twice in the verse, Still going for the two extra lines of uh, the two extra bars of G, and then we're straight into a chorus. Okay, so from I swam across from a G chord in two, three, four. I swam across, I jumped across for D, two, three, four. Oh, what a thing to do! Two, three, four, one. And it was all, yeah. G again, one more time. I drew a 
line I drew a line for you Oh, what a thing to do And it was all yellow Two bars of G G again, now chorus in one, two, three To a C chord, C Your skin, E minor, straight to D C, two, three, four, E minor, straight to D C, two, three, four, E minor, straight to D One last C, one bar of C, two, three, and then one strum For you I bleed myself dry G chord, intro again, two, three, four Intro, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, D G. Okay, we're going into verse again now from the G. Three, four, G. G again. Look how they shine for D. This is the top line of the verse. Look how they shine for C. One more time. Shine for so G, D, C. One more time. Two bars of each. Look how they shine for you. How they shine for C. Look how they shine. End on a G there. End on a G. That would be the intro verse chorus, intro verse chorus, intro verse, which takes you right to the end of the song. At the very end of the song, he does introduce a new chord. He goes for two bars of G. Look at the stars. And just to be clever, does this cool F major 7 chord, which is exactly the same as a C major chord, but we're going to take your middle and your third finger down by one string. So let's just have a zoom in on that. Um, third and middle finger of your C chord down one string each. So we've got two strings above where your third finger is. This is an F major 7. This is a way that you can play an F chord without barring, which uh, barring is having to have a flat first finger over that first fret or to, to any fret, um, pressing down more than one string at a time with a flat first finger. Um, this saves you having to do that, so it makes it far easier, but also this is the F chord that Chris Martin uses in this song, so it's really handy. And as I say, it's useful for um, anywhere where you can play uh, an F chord. If it says an F, this F will work absolutely fine in beginner's songs. Do not play your thickest E string, which is why I have my thumb slightly over the top, this thumb right here, slightly over the top, creeping over, just to mute this thickest E string, to take it out, so that if I strum all my strings, it sounds like this, rather than sounding like, like this, which doesn't sound pleasant. Or you can just pick from your fifth string, and it should sound great as well. Making sure that first finger is not kind of too flat like this, because at the level this song is kind of pitched at, that wouldn't quite ring out yet, most likely. So we're gonna go for this F. It's also the one that's used in the song as well. And then we uh, that happens for two bars. So we have G, two, three, four, one. Look how they shine for you. Your F chord for two bars, and then end on one strum of a C chord, okay? So let's have a go at this from your big G, dead slow, just the last part of the song. Two, three, four. Look at the stars. One, two, three, and F. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and finish on C for you. And that will be the end of your song. Fantastic. Okay, doke, guys. So that's the, the whole song um, gone through. Use your chord sheet to, to help you out, most certainly. Uh, please play along to the record um, to check that you're doing all this right, that you have your structure. Have a sing-along yourself. 
There's even a video of me and my friend Dave uh, playing this song purely acoustically so that you guys can have a, a strum along as well to make sure you're doing it right and just to kind of have a, have a play along to, to join into. And um, I hope you enjoy this song. If it's really difficult at the moment, if you've not quite got your changes or it's kind of just a lot to take in, please check out earlier on in my beginner's course, earlier stages, around about stage four is probably right for you, where you can play 10 songs with just G, D and C. But also, um, there's any earlier stages than that, um, which use easier chords. And also one full video where I cover how to play G, D and C all in one go, which should be really useful if this has been a difficult video for you. Please subscribe. Um, and check out my, my Twitter and Facebook so that you keep updated to any new lessons. And uh, I'm also going to do another video on the easy lead line to this song which happens in the chorus. So if you've enjoyed this video, check out the easy lead line and that will be really great for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again in another video.